Hello everyone, this is another video tutorial that we are bringing to you from BSN Tech Networks. I am Brian, and if you are interested in having an e-commerce website created by BSN Tech Networks, certainly go to our website at www.bsntech.com. We have very affordable rates on creating e-commerce websites to interface with PayPal for all payment transactions. First of all, you should have received a username and a password from us in order to log into your website. If you have not received this information, certainly reach out to us and we can provide that to you. Now in this video, I'm going to bring to you on how you take care of your orders. In the previous videos for the e-commerce websites, we showed you how to add products to your site and how to add categories. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do order management. So we'll go ahead and log in to the admin portal of the website and then you'll go over components and then choose Virtue Mart. Once you are in here you are greeted with your stores control panel. Now of course in this case we are looking at orders so there is the orders button right here there is also the orders on the left hand side. Usually when you first log in it will look similar to this and then you can simply click on orders and then list orders. Now I made a test order a little bit ago so you could see what is going on here. Now you can see the order number, the customer name, and then there's also some other information here as well. If you want to make a print view, you can click on this and it will make an item so you can print it out and put it in with the package. You can see the order date and when this order was last modified. So if you made any notes or anything on this, it will show the last modified date. Next is the status. Right now this shows this shows us pending because I didn't actually pay for this item since I'm just doing this as a test. Now when somebody does pay and the payment is completely successful through PayPal, this will actually show us confirmed instead of pending. But in the event that somebody places an order on your site and actually does not pay you, it is going to show as pending. So when you are updating products, ensure that the status is always confirmed before you actually ship out your product to the customer because you haven't been paid for it unless it says confirmed. Now if the customer actually goes through the process but hits the cancel button then it will show canceled. You also have the ability to set refunded and also shipped so once you have the item shipped then you can simply change the status. Over here it says update so you can notify the customer and update the status. In the event that you want to notify the customer, make sure you put a check in this box whenever you are making any changes, and then you can update the status. So if you want to ship the item, you can simply come in here, click on Shipped, hit Notify Customer, and then hit Update Status. It will then send an email to the customer indicating that the product has shipped. If you want to be more in-depth for your customer, you can actually click on the order number, and this will bring up all the information about the order. So here you can see the order information, what IP address that you're coming from. So if you have any problems with people ordering over and over, uh, this will show you that. If you have any coupons that are available, it will show what coupon code that they used to get any discounts. Over here, this is the order status change information. You can put in information and comments, such as a tracking number. So you could say, thank you for your order. Your order has shipped, and your tracking number is 1Z000 so on. So then you can put that in there and if this notify customer is checked and the include this comment is checked when you hit update it will then send this to the customer. Of course if you have shipped the item you want to change it to shipped. Now if you just need more information from the customer for any reason of course you probably should email them directly instead of using this but in the event that you need to go to a wholesaler then you can certainly keep the status as confirmed but then you can just put a comment in here and then hit update and then the customer will be informed of this comment that you put in here. Down below is all the billing information. You can see here, here is the billing information and here is the shipping information. Now of course since the customer is using PayPal because that is the only system that we use for e-commerce payments through VS and Tech Networks. The bill to information really isn't important to you because you won't really be billing anything. The shipping information would be important because you need to make sure that you ship it to the proper address. Next, down here it shows you what has been ordered. So it shows that they ordered one quantity of the conspiracy book. In our previous 
video I showed you how to make a product and we call it conspiracy as a book. They chose the color of red and the size of small. These are attributes that were set on there so they could choose colors, sizes, anything else. It still shows the order status of pending. Here shows the product price. Here is the gross price. That indicates that tax is already included. You can see tax was $1.46 and the product price was fifteen dollars so fifteen dollars plus a dollar forty six is sixteen forty six and there indicates the total so you have the subtotal the tax you also have the shipping and handling uh... shipping tax was also on here and then the total amount for the order down here it indicates the shipping information that the customer selected so if they wanted express shipping or priority mail or something similar then it would indicate the information here the payment method that shows how they paid. Of course it says PayPal because that is the system that we use. If the customer left a note on the order form this is where the note will show up so you can see any customer notes that they left you. So in general this is how you will take care of all of the orders on your website. You will log into your site and choose orders and then you'll be able to see all the orders processed on your website. Now this will keep a running total of all of the orders that you have on your site unless you actually come in here and remove them. So if you put a checkbox next to it and hit remove, it will completely delete this line out. Most people will want to keep all of their order records for tax purposes, so I recommend that you leave them on unless you do not want to keep track or history. Well that takes care of providing information to you on how to manage orders with your e-commerce website from BSN Tech Networks. If you do have any questions, certainly reach out to us. Our website is at www.bsntech.com. Again, this is Brian, and thanks again for watching.